On October 25th, authorities found the body of a 19-year-old male who committed suicide by jumping off the Bob Carey pedestrian bridge. And some people are doing all they can to try to prevent instances like this from happening ever again. Right here at First United Methodist Church, there's a lady that's running an organization that has to deal with mental health. And she knows from experience that bad mental health could result in suicide. My husband died unexpectedly, and I was left with two small children, six and four. And I had no place to put all this anger that I was feeling, this rage. And uh, I put it on myself. And I became very depressed. And I was suicidal. I had a lot of suicidal thoughts. But then, Kathy Falsberg read something that stopped these suicidal thoughts right in their tracks. I read um, an article in Ann Landers' advice column, and this lady had written a letter that I could have written. And she said, get yourself to a recovery meeting. Falsberg liked it so much, she's been a recovery meeting leader for 11 years, and according to Margie O'Hanlon, depressed people need to make the effort and start going to meetings. I wish more people could have access to this and then put the time and the commitment into it that it needs. For the Omaha News, I'm John Carter. And I decided, well, not so much I just followed, but I decided I was going to make my